Hey guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com and in this video we're going to benchmark the Motorola Droid Bionic from Verizon Wireless. It's got a 1 GHz dual core Texas Instruments OMAP 4430 processor and a full gig of RAM. So let's see how that holds up through a variety of benchmarks. So first we're going to run Quadrant. You guys should be familiar with this benchmarking utility by now. And it runs fairly quickly so we'll let it run its course in real time. And as a reminder, I always post the benchmark results uh, in the description of these videos. So be sure to skip ahead to that if you don't have time to watch the full video. just about done here. Last sequence. And the results. So let's see what we have here. Zoom in on that. Looks like we're at 2440. Not sure if you can see that. Let that focus. 2440. All right, not bad of a score. Seems pretty similar to what we got with the uh, Droid 3, which makes sense. So let's go back home, and then we'll run CF Bench. Now this one takes a while, so I'll let it uh, do its thing, and then come back and show you the results. All right, and it looks like it's done. Let's go ahead and scroll down here uh, to the interesting scores. These bottom three right here, we have a native score of 9,535. And then we have a Java score of 2,631, and overall score of 5,392. So that's CF Bench. Go back home, and now let's pull up and tutu. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So we'll go to test and start test. All right, and this one's finished as well. So we have a total score of 4,931. Let's go ahead and run the multi-touch test and see how many simultaneous points of contact we can get. Uh, let me warn you, this one can recognize many, many points here. It's a little hard to do this, but as you can see, I can pretty much fit all of my fingers on there at the same time. goes a little crazy but you can see uh, the data points recognizing right there pretty cool so let's jump back and go to Filamo this one will t test the uh, the web browser performance kind of a unique benchmark and we'll let that run its course this one takes a while so I'll show you some of it but most likely fast forward through uh, a large portion of it
And we're back. As you can see, the Droid Bionic got a score of 687. And last but not least, let's go to Neocore. This is the uh, benchmark with all the robots flying around. It has a bunch of explosions as well. And some music to go along with it. Tokyo Tower in the background. Tanks. and we get 59 frames per second. Uh, once again, I'll post all the results in the uh, description of this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.